Yes, so um, effectively we have already started um, preparations for next year's hurricane season already. Um, recognizing, as you said, how, how active it was. Also because there's COVID still lingering around and also because of the shipping delays um, that we have been seeing going around the world. Um, as you would recognize or appreciate, a lot of the equipment and um, uh, components that we use are very specialized and therefore it takes us a while to get them. Um, so we've already initiated um, basically what we consider as our hurricane orders for next year um, to ensure that we can have them in our storehouse um, as early as possible next year ahead of the hurricane season. You mentioned about the app. Um, is it still in use? Are you still getting the same kind of use of it from members of the public? Okay, so that app that I spoke about, ECA Restore app, that app is really, um, the intent of that app is only for restoration effort. Then there is a, a big um, issue on island um, that calls us to do a lot of restoration. That is what we would uh, ask persons to use. So once we, we came up with the hurricane restoration mode, we would have asked persons not to submit their um, reports by the app. There is, a, however, another app that we have. Um, it's, called, it's called BLPC, BLPC Connect app. Um, you can find it on the Play Store or the um, Apple Store. Uh, customers, we encourage customers to download it. They can enter their normal reports, whether it is related to trees, poles, or whatever else, and we get them and we will action it. Action it. So the ECI Restore app is for restoration after a hurricane or a major uh, weather event, whereas our normal app for reporting issues will be the LDC Connect app. Okay, so over the last few years, and I know you would uh, be aware that the telecoms would have transitioned from um, copper um, cables um, to fiber. On, um, so currently, there are both copper cables and fiber cables um, on our poles right now. Um, and you will, we will have seen um, the announcements by the telecoms recently that they are now fully onto fiber and they are now, now using the copper cables. So what is going on right now is that they are removing those copper of cables from our, for our lines, or for our poles, sorry. What that means, it will remove the amount of loading, the amount of load that is on our poles, and it also will make the poles a lot tidier going forward. So we've been working closely with them. They've started their effort in terms of removing those old cables, and we've been going behind and auditing and um, having them address any issues that we, we, we um, see. So that